Hi there. I just wanted to tell you a little tip um, related to drawing this morning. Um, I've got my favourite pencil. People in class have seen me use this one before. Um, when you're carrying around a journal and you want to do some drawing, just some drawing and sketching, it's a bit of a pain if you have to carry a pencil and an eraser. So um, what's really fun is if you can get the pencil and the eraser all in the one. So um, there's some pencils with a little eraser on the end that are pretty tragic because the eraser is really bad quality stuff and you know it goes it might be one of those old red erasers and it goes really hard um, really quickly and you try and erase with it and it just creates a big horrible blur but this one is a really good one this has got um, the bottom half of this pencil sort of from here downwards is a retract is the normal retractable pencil so you can undo it and fill up the leads from into this bottom half and then um, there's a button on the side of here that um, brings the lead down then in the top half of this pencil it's filled with a razor and these erasers I found um, have been really really good they're like the normal um, plastic eraser and um, so this one looks a bit grey because it's been very well loved and very well used but uh, it's just a normal plastic eraser um, like those Stadler ones and it erases really well so I love the fact that I've got a big long eraser it's sort of you can wind it out with by screwing it along here with this um, sort of circular thing on the end um, or wind it all the way back in and so I love the fact that I've got the eraser in there and the pencil in there I don't need a sharpener because I'm using a retractable pencil and I fill up with lots and lots of leads there's lots of room in this barrel to put lots of those spare leads in you just kind of um, pop it apart I wonder if I can do this one-handed you can just pop the thing apart here just by pulling the two halves apart it clicks back together again and um, it's got a clip on it as well which makes it really handy um, I'll just switch over the camera um, so when you're working with a journal and you're traveling with your journal out on the road um, if you've got a journal that's got quite wide um, loops in the end you, you may be able to fit the pencil inside there but because this is um, a bit of a chunky sort of size pencil I usually just clip it on the outside so then you've just got one unit to carry around with you and you never lose your eraser and you don't need a sharpener so it's a great thing to use so um, the brand of it is a click they call it a click this one's so worn out um, it's by Pentel it's a click pencil um, with a built-in eraser you can get it at newsagents um, you can get it at uh, Officeworks I'm sure as well um, but one thing I just discovered um, just a couple of days ago was I use, I love these pencils so much um, I have one attached to every journal or notebook that I ever carry around with me and I find that I use it so much that this eraser runs out and so then I've, I've got a couple of them that have been hanging around and I've been thinking what am I going to do I, I don't really want to just use it as a retractable pencil without the eraser in it so um, what I discovered was because you can't buy the replacement erasers for these they've got this kind of little I'll pop this one out it's almost finished it's got this little um, sort of ridge on the end of it I don't know if you can see that so usually it's quite a long a long thing and then this little slot sort of narrow bit that fits down into the barrel there so um, usually uh, once the eraser runs out you think you can't replace it but I found this trick um, I've got my little stash of in my highly organized studio I've got a little drawer of um, spare erasers and I buy um, a couple of these different click erasers that you can get in different brands this one is um, from Papermate there's one from Stadler that you know the whole pencil is an eraser um, and there's one from um, Papermate as well and I wrote on this um, for Papermate um, it's quite a wide um, eraser holder but not Pentel so this is the Pentel one but if you have a look at these, um, the Stadler one's quite a wide um, 
cylinder and this little um, paper mate one's a bit narrower well I've worked out that if you've got I just sort of cut one of these in half and if I um, well this one I've actually used in desperation one day when I ran out um, I used it as an eraser but it actually I've worked out that it actually just fits in there if you if you slice a little bit off so you make a bit of a cone shape on the end then you can jam that in there it jams right in there and then um, I haven't actually got that one done right I did this yesterday with another one um, once it goes in there then you can just wind it all the way back down into the barrel oh this one's working good so you just turn this little thing here and wind it right back down into the barrel and then once that's all the way down now so it's filled that's now filled with a razor and so now you can just slice that across the top there with um, a blade and um, you're away so um, that was great to be able to find out that because now I can just keep on using these ones for as long as I like and I absolutely love them so there's your tip of the day um, so if you want any more tips then um, go and have a look at the dojo at zenartart.com and I've actually got some free video um, tutorial in there for doing cross hatching which you can do with one of these pencils so go and have a look at that so if you love this video and um, you'd like to help share it around then please either um, click like share or comment below and uh, thanks for watching